Super excited to share a CAD program today that I believe is going to change the way that we teach uh, beginners in 3D, for 3D printing and CAD design. It's sketch-based instead of uh, 3D primitives like Tinkercad. So uh, what I've decided to do is actually take a project that I teach beginners in Tinkercad, and I'm going to recreate that. Or I'm going to show you how I do that in Tinkercad, and then I will recreate the same thing in the new program, CADIT. Uh, CADIT is from the makers of CookieCAD, both the software for making awesome cookie cutters and the uh, awesome filament with the crazy colors. So let's go ahead and get jump, jump right in. Uh, So now we have our two models. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at those in Prusa Slicer so we can check out the difference between uh, the actual finished product. But before we get into that, I want to share the times uh, for completion. So uh, Tinkercad model took right at uh, three minutes uh, to produce. The Cadet model uh, was about four minutes, 15 seconds. Uh, it's important to point out that um, I've only been playing with Cadet for a couple hours now where I have been using Tinkercad for uh, years and actually teaching this specific project using Tinkercad um, to you know, probably well over 100 people. So I've got a lot more experience with Tinkercad, with this specific model, this specific design, more than any other ones. So we'll go ahead and hop on into uh, Tinker, or into Prusa Slicer and check the models out. So the one on the left is from Tinkercad. The one on the right is from Cadet. So a um, couple of things to notice right off the bat. So we're actually getting a couple of errors uh, with the model. And you can actually see we've got a little tiny hole in there. But um, that's nothing that's... You know that's very common with a lot of uh, a lot of CAD design. So, and the nice thing is in Prusa Slicer, we can just click on that little uh, triangle, and the model's repaired. So, um, you know, overall they're they're you know exactly what what I designed. So this one's a little different on the top than this one, and that's just because that's what I did. Uh, that's me. That's not the program. Uh, but you can kind of tell they they look like they're slightly different sizes, and that's because they are. So when we look at the CAD model. We can actually see that the sizing is a little bit off, uh, 24, and then it's 5.6 in height, um, whereas the Tinkercad model is 24 wide and 6 tall. So um, I think that just has to do with the fact that uh, Tinkercad right now, um, it snaps to millimeter increments. So uh, that's that's what's going on for the most part. Uh, the, the, I think the biggest difference there, and I'm sure Cadet can, um, you know, they may fix that. They may change some of the stuff, um, but you know, when we slice the model, so this is a really fat 0.8 millimeter nozzle and uh, 55 uh, or 0.55 layer height. So it's a real chunky model, but you can see, you know, everything looks uh, looks usable as far as models go. So um, that's just kind of my my quick review of uh, doing the same project in Tinkercad and Cadet, um, just to kind of give you a heads up or a head to head. On those, the like I say, the nice thing about uh, Cadet is uh, everything that you learn to do in Cadet will actually help you with further, uh, more advanced modeling programs, whether that's Fusion 360, FreeCAD, SolidWorks. Um, you know, the vast majority of the solid parametric modelers are all sketch based. Uh, on Shape is another one that comes to mind. Um, so the what you learn in Cadet is uh, directly applicable to all those other programs where Tinkercad, really the only thing that transfers to the other programs is being able to move around and manipulate models in 3D space, which is definitely an important uh, thing to learn in uh, CAD. But um, so anyhow, so that, that's that's my uh, kind of quick head-to-head uh, -head, uh, review of the two different programs. Uh, I actually have another video that I'm gonna be coming up with uh, later this week that's gonna be showing the differences, some of the other fun 
uh, things you can do with Cadet. So um, some of the other uh, features like uh, twist and uh, some shape modeling. So um, uh, stay tuned and, and check that one out too if you're interested. Okay, thanks.